Hi everyone, it's Geezer and I just want to do uh, the second update of my uh, Super Sprint DRS um, development project that I've got going for the Amiga AGA platform. So I um, <clears throat> haven't had a great deal of time uh, due to the whole um, situation that's going on around the globe and work and having to look after a, a little one and whatnot uh, but i have managed to grab a few hours today and i did part of last week as well uh, i found a few hours on a night and i just wanted it because i'm kind of keen to keep this going Um, kind of keeps me busy on a, on a night uh, rather than sitting down and watching something on netflix or something like that where i kind of just I don't know, binge, t binge TV just doesn't seem to uh, work for me that well, to be to be honest. Um, but but yeah, so I just thought I'd give you a give you an update again. I'm going to try doing them weekly, um, and just see you know see what you guys think, and you know, and and just let you know on the on the progress that I've made. So what I've what I've done this week is primarily actually not work on the engine. Um, I've worked on the more kind of tag on bits to the game um, and that's been mainly down to time um, so what I mean by the tag on bits to the game I mean like the title screen the um, the kind of the select the, the, you know the sort of like the preparing the prepare to race um, and that type of thing and the winning cars that type of stuff so I'm going to run through what I've done and ex and explain how I've done it and what what's going on, um and hopefully hopefully you'll find it interesting with a bit of luck and you know it's the, something to do I guess on VA day but they there you go. So the first thing I've done is um I've brought in the some of the pictures in from the from the arcade, and what I mean by that the pictures I mean the uh the um the like the title screens and stuff like that. So there we go. That's a 32 color IFF that's running there. I'm going to talk about the font um, and this information at the top here because that is actually overlaid. I'm going to talk that talk about that real soon. Uh, but that's just basically displaying an image um, with with the Super Sprint um, title page, I guess. And the next thing that we will have is simply the prepare to race I'll fire this one up and you'll see that one is good as well so the you know that's where you kind of get an update when you've done a track and you get get the um you get a few spanners and you get to see how how customized your car is and there's a bit on this particular screen there is some animation that goes on around uh, the engine of the car and you, the the guy kind of puts his arm up and stuff so you know i need to get those into the game but i'm not so much worried about that um for the for the time being and uh, that's you know that's just kind of work that i can do um which which won't be too difficult using the blitter i guess and this next one here is quite keen on and this is the the next part of part of what you generally see in the game which is the winning cars so i wanted to i wanted to focus on this one here um so this is quite an important part of the game uh, when whoever finishes the the track kind of first second third place and fourth place actually and whether it's a drone car or an actual player car, it has to be represented on this screen here. And I kind of thought about it quite a bit, this one, how to do it. And I was thinking about masking the cars and running dual player field and things like that. And when I was doing that, I was, I was having to really reduce the graphics from that I was taking from the arcade, um, from the arcade ROMs. And I didn't really want to do it. I wanted to keep as much detail of the arcade as, as possible. Uh, so 
I, I really didn't want to do that. So this is what you're looking at here is a 64 color screen. And it's essentially split into two. It isn't dual player field, um, but it is just two sets of 32 colors. The first set of 32 colors is handling the background. And what I mean by the background, I mean anything apart from the cars and the text here uh, and the font at the top. And in this scene in the game, generally what happens is there's, there's we've got a bit of animation to do with this guy here um, who finishes fourth, uh, which I, I think doesn't actually appear in some of the arcade ROMs. I was um, I, ha I was looking and sometimes it appears and sometimes it doesn't. I think it's different revisions. Um, but also as well as that, the, the, the people in the crowd in the background, they, this kind of... The, the throw some flags about which I'll probably be able to do quite easily just with uh, multiplex and some sprites but the important part of this is was actually getting the who uh, finished the race in order um, first second third fourth place so what we've got set here is the, um, the yellow car green car and then a couple of drone cars so I just want to show you that that's actually up and running and it was a bit of a bit of a pain to actually get to work it was tedious work to be fair um so i'll show you the routine that um that makes this work and it's in winning cars winning cars order uh, when i find it probably at the bottom here so here you go so the when i'm just running this i can select which car will appear first uh, second, third, and fourth. So if I want the uh, the the player car in red to appear first, then great. Uh, if I want a, the drone car, let's tell you what. Let's just let's just swap these around, and then maybe uh, we want a drone car in green to finish to finish last. And so what this is doing is is that it's just setting colours in the palette. And that's essentially how I'm doing it. So hopefully this will uh, this will show what I've done. It was a pain to get working actually. So there you go. So the um, the first player, first person player, uh, has finished first, which we had red winner circle. So it's changed this color here in the palette and changed this and. The colour green is finished third place, which we said, which was a player car. And then you've got the two drone cars, which have got, which are coloured slightly different. And all I'm really doing is, and I can show you this, is just changing the palettes. Um, so if we bring up P-Paint and I'll show you the, show you what the palette looks like. Uh, whoa, which one is it? Uh, not that one. It's a different one, was probably the bottom one. It gets so mixed up these days. So there you go. So 64 colours, 512 by 384. And nope, that is not the right one. And for some reason, PPN does this screwy thing. I don't know why, but I need to start that up again. Let's see if we can get this to play a ball this time. We go into super sprints, some assets, and winning cars. I'm just gonna choose it's probably this one actually. Pretty sure it was. Oh, I'm missing something here. Um, ah, I on. this one here. That's better. So what I'll do is I'll put this into um, put this into low res mode. It's easier to easier to see what's going on. So this is a 64 color screen and uh, that's the default palette colors and what I've done is set this up so that in the second bank of 32 colors the first two colors relate to the relate to the mechanic guy here so if I go and change them colors there uh, you'll find that you should change color there you go so the first two colors are the mechanic the and then we've got a couple of unused colours. Um, and then you've got the five 
colors used for the each of the cars all in sort of order but basically you've got five four sets of five colors after that which de detail which which color which car to change color of and one of one of the colors denotes to the the text and one of the colors is simply the car wing which i think is that one there so the middle color is the car wing and so what it allows me to do is i just basically just drop the drop the hue to to um I basically just make these these colors gray uh, when it's a drawn car and that that's what happens there when uh, one of these cars is, is symboled as a drone and that's that's really really how i'm doing that quite straightforward but it was a bit of a what a bit was quite a bit of tedious work getting the palettes right and remapping the colors and it, you know it wasn't it wasn't straightforward to be to be fair but i'm quite pleased with it because i haven't lost any i haven't lost any pixels from the arcade um the arcade roms which is which is what i was aiming for really uh, the last thing i wanted to talk about was the the overlays uh, the text overlays and how i'm doing that uh, i've created a, almost a, a single routine um to to handle this and at the minute it isn't perfect because i've literally just finished it there but basically uh, this is a this is an overlay that handles the score and stuff like that and it's i haven't done the smaller font but you know i can show you the i can show you the routine is is what it looks like at the minute it's really just kind of skeleton uh, push button insert coin and what I can do is is that I tell I can call this routine and give it a screen pointer so if the screen is four bit planes five bit planes or six bit planes this routine will handle it the character display will handle it it's you know it's this is actually a slow routine but I'm not so much worried about it at the minute um, and what I can do as well as I can say right because this is a, the font is actually four colors I can choose which bits to um, bit planes to actually put the the font in, uh, which is quite handy because the screens have different setups. Uh, so, you know, for example, I've got this actually almost well, I'll be a buggy working with the uh, the dual player field as well. So, just need to uh, quit quit these. You know what I want this one here, so should so there you go. So although this is buggy at the minute, you can see the overlay, but I'm using a single routine to actually handle uh, all all the different scenarios of, of screen display. So the reason why that's like that is um simply because I'm using the copper. Uh, to change the colors horizontally as well so i'm doing a copper weight and changing the screen to blue and then i'm changing the screen changing the color pen to to green and then to yellow uh, for the first 24 sorry 32 pixels down down the screen and that's how i get to change the colors now i need to do some changes here so that it actually does actually change the font colors but you've seen in the previous screens that that's that I'm actually doing that so so yeah some decent progress um I'm really really pleased with which way it's going um it's a nice nice short project with a bit of luck and probably getting a bit of help with it as well which I'm which I'm really happy with um had someone offer to you know help out with the audio um which I'm, which I'm quite happy about and I've got somebody helping with the maps and things like that which which is really good would really take the workload off uh, leads me to concentrate on just doing the coding with a short amount of time I've got. So there you go. Uh, if you've got any questions, you know, pop them over to us and um, I'll happy to answer them. But apart from that, that's a short stream. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.